If you're familiar with some of the audio tropes for high-tech telemetry interface type sounds, you've probably heard this kind of trilling audio cue before. Um, the most common way to make it, I think, is using the plugin called Galactic Assistant. And it's so ubiquitous, in fact, that another plugin manufacturer made something based on the same core idea called Space Lab. If you're more clever than I am, you could probably crack open the underlying Max patch that both of these are based on and reverse engineer it from there. I'm not so clever. <laughs> so I'm just doing it by ear um, and you can tell me how close it gets. You can use pretty much any synth that you have on hand, um, just as long as it has more than one oscillator. I'm going to be using Phase Plant because I think it, uh, for demo purposes, it makes things really clear visually. And it also lets us use pretty much as many voices as we want. We're going to start by setting it to the sine wave using an analog operator and uh, turning it down to zero because we're going to be controlling the volume using remap functions instead of the built-in envelopes. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. Um, whoops, duplicate that three more times. So now you can see we have a total of four oscillators here. Um, and the general idea is going to be we want to hear each oscillator in cascading order with no overlap between them. To achieve that, we're going to use uh, a master LFO here set to the ramp up shape. And then the key here is the remap function. So we will set it to two by one because that will correspond to the number of voices. It'll give us a quadrant per voice or a frame, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we're going to set it uh, to be unipolar and then 100% for the first frame to control the first voice. Um, we map the master LFO to this remap function, and then we're going to duplicate it. You guessed it, three more times. And modify each one of these remap uh, modulators so that the second one is 100% on the second frame. The third one is 100% on the third frame. And of course, the fourth and final one is 100% only on the fourth frame. You can start to get a picture of what's going on here. Uh, the next step is we want to uh, map each one of these to each one of the voices. So we'll go ahead and attach to the gain, then right click and set it to be zero right here. So that's full volume when this is at 100%. Gonna go ahead and do the rest of them as well. And just so that we can actually hear the change, I'm going to set uh, the second one to the second harmonic, third to the third harmonic, fourth to the fourth. And then I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit because it gets kind of loud and we'll hear the effect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So each one of these is audible um, after the, the previous one is, and it's sort of like cascades or scrolls between the different voices. Um, the, uh, what I'll usually do next is map a macro control to the speed of this LFO right here turn it up all the way and see how that sounds. We essentially want that to be the fastest cascade uh, that's useful to us. I think about 50% uh, is kind of the sweet spot. And that gives us a really functional range for that macro control. Um, that's pretty much the core of the, of the technique. From here, what I'll usually do is add maybe like a dual delay, uh, turn it down to, I don't know, like about there and tweak the offset between them, turn down the spread and feedback a little bit. We just add, want to add like a little accent. Um, and maybe even like a little bit of reverb. If I was baking this down, I definitely would not put reverb on it, but for the demo, I think this sounds, uh, sounds sweet and just like makes it a little bit more palatable. Um, some other classic effects that you might hear on here would be a frequency shifter. Um, or like a ring modulator. The ring mod in particular is pretty good for getting like uh, inharmonic dissonant type sounds, I find. Um, and the cool thing about Faceplant in particular is it also makes it pretty easy to, let's say, like change waveforms between all the different voices. 
you want to increase the harmonic content. Um, and you can also really easily, let's say, uh, do like uh, frequency modulation or like phase modulation between the different voices. Um, and of course, you can like change the harmonics. And the speed. To get a whole bunch of different textures. Um, the last sort of thing here that the uh, original plugins allowed you to do is draw your own uh, shape for the envelope. You can do that in Faceplant too. I'm not the best at using the curve uh, modulator tool here, so I'm going to stumble through it a little bit. Um, but I think you'll get the idea. You can just sort of like map it to there, to the volume, and then use the draw tool to draw whatever the heck you want. Um, all that FM is actually sort of destroying the sound, so I'm going to turn that down just a tad. I'm not going to walk through it from scratch, but just to show you that's possible, let's say you don't have faceplant, you can still do it with vital. You're restricted to uh, three oscillators here because that's all it has. Maybe you could repurpose the um, sample oscillator um, to suit your purposes, but you can do a very similar thing here, just using LFOs that are out of phase with each other. Or even Zebra, just so long as you learn how like the different terms for the modulators here. In this case, it's going to be Mod Mapper. 